My name is Ben Luning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. This is Horst Luning. He's the senior taster of whiskey.com. And today we're having a um, yeah, very, very recent announcement and very recent uh, yeah, deployed bottle. It's the Artback Heavy Vapors. But if you've been on Isla, as I've been, uh, then you've already seen this bottle. Uh, because it's the face ale edition and they've already had that on in their shop but i'm not quite sure because it's also committee and something yeah they are, this time they, this year they had a bit of a mix up there and uh so i'm not quite sure if at the distillery maybe that is uh cask strength and what we do have here is now the 46 percent versions of the artback heavy vapors yeah and you told me uh, a thing i didn't know uh, so I visited Artback twice mm -hmm. and uh, last time with Mickey Hess, very interesting, very much in detail, but he missed to tell me about <laughs> this purifier. Well, yeah, it's actually a, a very crucial part of, of Artback yeah. <laughs> because of the, the shape and the speed they, uh, they distill, they would actually be a pretty hefty uh, distillation, but they do have uh, a certain... Um, Oh, we actually we're going to do it as b-roll a certain element it's called a purifier and that is actually just um like a, a valve or a, a thing at the at the neck or not this, uh, this one neck uh, just before this one neck yeah L no the line arm is actually at the bottom of the line arm i think it's part of the line arm this is starts line arm start uh, uh, ah, and i think okay. it's at the line arm and then somewhere yeah. at the top of the still <laughs> yeah then it must after the yeah. at the end of the line arm just before the condenser i think in the middle and there or uh, somewhere there the, the vapors are partly condensed yeah. and will drop and the heavier vapors will drop in this rectifier mm -hmm. and then be purified uh, or liquefied and go back into the pot so the art back spirit is a bit lighter, is a bit easier, still has enough uh, smoke in it to be a hefty Isla malt, but it's not as spicy. So with this one, the production team um, actually came up with that idea, hey, how about we just close the purifier once? And you can close this purifier and that's what they did. So the heavier vapors don't go through the purifier and go into the condenser and therefore into the whiskey. And they did one kind of batch with that. Mm -hmm. And this is now the heavy vapors that went through the still into the bottle. And yeah, it's kind of a nice design. It has mm -hmm. a big cloud of heavy vapors on it. And oh, there's that shorty digging in the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> shorty is the, the, the dog. Yeah, and uh, they have some some uh, sci-fi competition something oh going that's actually that. going going in here the yeah. agent 46 aka jackie committee chair and interplanetary detective i've actually <laughs> had that that comic it, uh, i i tried to read it but it's, it's really not my thing <laughs> i am into sci-fi but this is a bit too strange of a sci-fi for I'm, me i'm very deep into sci-fi uh, read over 700 novels so yeah, but but this is a, a strange sci -fi? dystopian sci-fi. Dystopian. Yeah, and and it's not about uh, spacecraft and stuff. More of like I don't know, kind of people I think, or uh -huh. like Agent yeah, it's, 46. It's, it's more like a <laughs> Mad Max thing. I was. Uh, there are different stories. They're short <laughs> stories. It's it's like the the Isaac Asimov stories, but a bit more dystopian and a bit more hip and. 21st century style uh -huh. <laughs> so you, you can just <laughs> but my, my my camera crew that was uh, the the photographer the photographer really loved that so i just gave it to her <laughs> <laughs> so you can just cope with that with a lot of alcohol <laughs> <laughs> i do like i mean I, I think i do like it but i the stories were just a bit too strange for me <laughs> heavy vapors will rise so enough to talk mm -hmm. Yeah, so the committee release of the Heavy Vapors was on the 25th of April. And this is now the normal release. And oh, uh, we are doing it now on, uh, I think, a week before. But the release will be, uh, I think, on the 3rd. So that's from our point of view, that's next week. And from your point of view, that's today. <laughs> so it's light. Do they actually say anything about cask maturation or age or something? No, I haven't read anything. I haven't read anything either, so it's... It so it's, it's really uh, light. It's, it's white wine, Gavi di Gavi. And uh, so either 
multiple used casks or um, which, short which one which one is the you have the the 10 which is also sherry and you have the no no, the ten, is sherry? Not, no, no no the 10 is without sherry without sherry the the Ugedal sherry but I don't think they did 10 years I think they did it too recent but with 10 I think they they would have would have written it on the label yes because the eight year old got the eight so I, I think it's below eight so you mean the five year old the wee beast is five it's five yeah. so that was a bold move from them <laughs> yeah. it doesn't matter so yeah. uh, if we have a strong peaty smoky whiskey then uh, the age doesn't matter because yeah. uh, it will hide behind but uh, the, the new still house is up for I think two years or something like that mm -hmm. or one and a half years so it, it definitely is an old warehouse uh, still house whiskey so this is really a lot of smoke <laughs> a lot of smoke yeah it takes a while just carry over <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, yeah it's a it's heftier it, it, it smells heftier mm -hmm. it has a uh, I would even say peppery note but yes very very smoky stinky note <laughs> <laughs> that purifier really takes out some smoke mm. yeah so <laughs> you, you typically have this catalytic conversion at the copper yeah and if you're going several times through the, the, the neck and the line arm with all the copper, then uh, the catalytic conversion takes place. And uh, be, if yeah. you interrupt that. Oh, yes. Yeah, you interrupt it. Oh, it's always the negative thing. You, you don't add the, the purifier. You, you take it off. Yeah. <laughs> That's a... Uh... Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. <laughs> I can't believe it. Wow! <laughs> oh, definitely, you have to have one of those. Wow! This is spicy, <laughs> extremely. <laughs> so this is um, this is not the spiciness of a say uh, a, a spicy cask. This is spiciness as you have it with a say. Probably I, I, some some whiskies show this uh, chili catch, and this is uh, a spicy peppery catch, but not chili peppery catch, which takes not that long. The spiciness goes away after a few seconds, 10, 20 seconds. The spiciness is gone, and now you have a, a cleaning of your mouth with this uh, smokiness in it. Oh. <laughs> So this is extreme, really extreme. Yeah. I think there's a reason why they built in that purifier. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think it's a very nice and interesting whiskey, but it's definitely much more demanding. Mm -hmm. You do have uh, you have the, the wonderful words for that, the spiciness and the smokiness that is really inside that bottle, uh, the glass. Uh, but also a little bit of a bitterness, a little bit of a leather note in it. So, oh yes, the, 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 the purifier takes out some delicate flavors that some people might it, not like in your glass. It purifies your whiskey. It purifies As your whiskey. It's called, end, yeah. Yes. So, oh, <laughs> I think they should put, turn on the purifier again. <laughs> I think they already did. <laughs> but mm. Mm. This is... If you have a normal distillery and would like to have a peated whiskey, then they start with peated whiskey uh, a few weeks uh, before they go into maintenance so that they cl can clean out the, the peat of that. And with the art back, they're able to switch this extreme on and off. So they do not have to, to wait until uh, something, uh, some, some maintenance work to, to re open that so they can switch it on and off as they like but they um, always switch it off <laughs> yeah. um, they had a time with art back where they had this kill dalton which was unpeated no the blaster blaster and the kill dalton i think as well wasn't i think it? i had the kill dalton that was smoky uh, and then the a, blaster. Lot of, a lot of influences on that too I didn't like the kill dalton because it was too smoky <laughs> <laughs> so the blaster and uh they, they had to, to to do it just after the maintenance mm. yearly maintenance and this one they can switch on and off so probably they will put aside 
say, 10% of their production in this hefty one, and then they have more to mix. You, you think there will be more in the future of, of heavy vapors? Yeah. It depends on how people like it. They could they could actually use that in the future to give the their yeah. normal or new mm. expressions a bit of a more of a kick into it. Yeah. They don't even really have to tell us if they switch uh, switch the the, the uh, purifier on and off. So it's, mm -hmm. it's there is no law for that or against that. Yeah. But I think you do taste it. So uh, the the finish is uh, a lot stronger, a lot longer, <laughs> and the bits. <laughs> I, I would have said okay, yeah, they took the the second cutting point and took it a bit lower. You could reach a similar conclusion if you just take the second cutting point and put it a bit lower to get less the less of the feints and more of the feints into the heart. So, but uh, I like the idea of uh, switching off the. Uh, it's just a a cool trick, and that's what I do like about whiskey. There is uh, so I, many variations. I have to argue with that. I don't think so that you can can change it by by moving the cutting point. No, because it depends on the time. Uh, the whiskey is moving through the... You cover. will not get the same exact result. No, no. Yes, you will mm -hmm. get a different result, but you will get a, a heftier, yeah. stronger mm -hmm. whiskey. Mm -hmm. You will not get the same result. Because, yes, maybe um, you do have a bit of unwanted bitterness and leather and then in there. But probably if you have the second cutting point lower, then you have more of that. Because the feints are... I've tried feints. Feints are horrible. Yeah, <laughs> feints are really horrible, and, and cutting points are a so, key so, part. So, so better to have the right cutting points, and uh, then reduce the recycling time, uh, the reflux yeah. time, uh, and have not that fainty aroma, but but more of the heavy vapors. Heavy vapors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's the topic I think that's here. it for today. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I think we've talked enough, and yeah, see you next time. Mm -hmm.